These graceful little creatures have an amazing story of adaptation and survival. According to the fossil record, Anostrica have existed on Earth for over 500 million years, and if you know where and when to look, you can probably find them in your community. These small crustaceans are commonly known as fairy shrimp. Their habitat is usually ephemeral. That is, it disappears for much of the year. Here in eastern Canada, this story starts in the winter. On this January day, we are hiking to a special place, an interesting feature in the forest landscape. This low area in the forest floor marks the location of a vernal pool, a unique pond habitat that appears briefly in the spring, then disappears with the arrival of summer. The word vernal derives from the Latin for spring, vernus. Digging through the deep snow, we come to the leaf litter that marks the forest floor. No ice or water. This pond is dry. But the spring is coming and something very special is about to happen here. As the earth tilts towards the sun, temperatures rise and snow melts, delivering water to the dormant waterways of the frozen forest floor. Returning to the same location in mid-April, we find this. A layer of ice covers a rapidly forming pool. By late April, the snow and ice have melted. The pond is filled with water. Quietly moving closer and observing the floor of the pond, we can discern some motion. Tiny creatures moving below the surface. These are fairy shrimp. These graceful swimmers have mysteriously appeared in this vernal pool. It is surprising that these delicate creatures could survive in an environment like this. Slow moving, they would be easy prey for most predators, and they live in a pond that doesn't exist for most of the year. Not only does this pond disappear by midsummer, but some years, when we don't have much winter snow, the pond never appears. This image of the same pond was taken in late April of 2012. The pond is dry, and yet the fairy shrimp appeared next spring. Apparently they have a plan, and that plan exploits some of the features of vernal pools. These ephemeral ponds eliminate a major predator, fish. Most fish species will not survive the dry cycle of a vernal pool. The fairy shrimp do not have to worry about predation from fish. But that leaves us with a mystery. How do the fairy shrimp survive vernal pool dry cycles? Here's the answer. This is a female fairy shrimp. These masses attached to her body are fertile eggs, or more accurately cysts. Different from eggs in that each hard-shelled cyst contains a complete embryo, a miniature fairy shrimp, ready to emerge. It turns out these cysts are extremely hardy, capable of surviving temperature extremes and extended periods without water. The female fairy shrimp drops her cyst to the bottom of the pond. The pond dries up, leaving the cyst dormant dormant but ready to hatch with the arrival of fresh water in the spring. Studies have determined that not all cysts hatch with the first flood of water. Many remain dormant for years, accommodating false starts to the spring and extended dry periods. This is a remarkable story of adaptation. During the Cambrian period, Fairy shrimp populated the oceans, but the arrival of evolving predators threatened their existence. But fairy shrimp survived by adapting to environments like vernal pools, places without predators. A unique type of vernal pool can be found in old growth forests. Much smaller than most vernal pools, these features start to form when a huge tree falls lifting its roots out of the forest floor, creating a mound, and leaving a depression. Foresters call these old growth features a pit hen mound. With time, the tree decays, leaving a mound beside the pit. In the spring, water fills the depression, creating a miniature vernal pool. 
Documenting the life in a vernal pool is a great project for a spring weekend. Some of the life forms in these ponds are visible to the unaided eye. Of course, a hand lens or microscope will reveal more. You can also purchase a close relative of these fairy shrimp at most aquarium supply stores. Brine shrimp are sold as a food supplement for small fish. A study of these tiny crustaceans would make an excellent science fair project. For more science and technology related videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com.